Welcome to an exciting edition of SWE Fury. Bob Malden joined by Lynn Denton. Lynn, our new general believe? manager. Can you believe Teddy Ch Long? James Beard went all over the world. Like I said, he knows everybody. He picks Teddy Long, and I promise you one thing. Oh, Mr. Player, he knows a lot of people. He can get some things done, can he? Let's talk about that uh, enforcer that he brought in. <laughs> yeah. What about that enforcer? The road warrior? The animal? Are you kidding me? That's right. I'm and, talking uh, double tough, brother. Yeah. Double tough. Nobody's going to stand in his way. I would hate to be the guy, the first guy, he makes an example out of it, does something wrong. He almost made an example out of Brent McKenzie last week. I've never seen Brent McKenzie back down to anyone, but uh, <laughs> I believe that happened last week right here in this yes, ring. Sir. Yes, sir, brother, and I don't blame him, you know. I don't blame him at all. SWE Fury is presented here on CW33 by the Texas Association of Shokotan Karate in Plano. Thank you guys very much for making this show possible. We have a lot of great action lined up for you tonight. Let's get to the ring. Introducing to the ring first, being accompanied by Nigel Rabbit of the Rabbit Empire. From Napa Valley, California, the connoisseur, Niles Blanche. Somewhere in purgatory, the apocalypse, Adam Asher! Action gets underway here in the ring. Apocalypse Adam Asher against Niles Plunkey, accompanied to the ring by the dastardly Nigel Rabbit. Tonight's action brought to you by Texas Association of Shotokan Karate in Plano, Texas. As a shoulder tackle sends Niles Plunkey, the, the connoisseur, to the ring. I hear you. I tell you, that's something. That Adam Asher just impresses me. He's just I tell you, I'd be surprised if he's not right around the corner. He's going to be a champion himself. He'll be wearing one of these championship belts. Two KG veterans up the ring facing off tonight. The more refined Niles Plunkett and the guy who just likes to smash his opponents, Adam Asher. Huge back body draw. Oh, I tell you, you feel that one the next morning. Believe me, the next morning, you know you had that bump right there, brother. He had, he went so high they had to reroute traffic from DFW out here, Lynn Denton. I hear you, he sure felt it when he landed. Adam Asher off the ropes, watch out, Nine, Nigel Rabbit. That's oh, a clothesline, big neck breaker there. That neck breaker definitely slow you down, buddy. Definitely, and all the wear and tear on the neck of Adam Asher, who has been on TV in Texas for a long time, fighting battles all across the state. Here he goes, big elbow in the corner. Niles Plunkett systematically dismantling Adam Asher up. You say his name is Niles Plunkett, is that what you keep saying? Yeah, Niles Plunkett. Oh, Plunkett, not Plunkett. But no, not Plunkett. Did you notice that, what he just did? The grape stomp yeah, look at this. Look in the corner. Look at this. <laughs> Nigel Rabbit. Rabbit will use any means possible. How about that? Match. That grape stomp, now he is a connoisseur of wine, but he's also a wine maker as he wrenches on the neck of Adam Asher. He brings his wine out here to the table and sets it by us. So that's wine he comes from his, uh, his vineyard, he makes yeah. himself. Yeah, look, he's got his name on the glass here. Have you ever tasted that? I have not. Have you? <laughs> I advise you not to. Oh, okay. Whoa, he. How am I supposed to break his neck? No, 
Plunk Hay trying to negotiate with the referee about throwing Asher over the top rope. Wait, wait a minute. He just threw himself over the top rope. He threw him over the top rope. He's trying to say that Asher did it. That's not what I saw. He deserves a win because he threw me over. Oh, a little help back in the ring there. That that argument, I didn't know where that was going to go. It went right back to the center of the ring for Plunk A. It's been an easy way to get a cheap win, but it didn't work. <laughs> he tried, but the referee saw every bit of it. If you'll remember, a few weeks back, it was Plunk A and Nigel Rabbit who busted a wine bottle on the head of Adam Asher. There was blood all over the side of the ring as that happened. And Adam Asher is looking for a little bit of payback here. Oh, good grief. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. There we go. It's going to be a pin now. One, two, and no, just barely kicking out. Of course, you always want to be watching for that apocalypse now. As Adam Asher goes up in the fireman's carry, Blanquet is up. Oh, low blow! Low blow! Oh, good grief. I thought he was going to go through the ropes there, but he bounced off. And now over the top rope. Yeah, that was over the top. What? Oh, that's a. Disqualification. And the winner is about via disqualification, Adam Asher. Niles Blanquet and Adam Asher. Asher coming out with a win in our opening contest. We're back with more right here on SWE Fury. It's our new general manager, Lynn Denton, Teddy Wall. General manager and enforcer from hell, brother. I'm telling you. Well, yeah, let me know one of my That's right, Teddy Long accompanied to the ring by his enforcer, Animal, who got into a little confrontation last week with one Brent McKenzie over those threats to punch Teddy Long, our new general manager. Let's see what he has to say. I'm going to take this mask off a minute. Me and, me and my man can social distance. But anyway, everybody knows what's happening. I am the new SWE general manager, ladies and gentlemen. And thank all of you for making that happen. I want to thank my man Tom Lance, James Beard, and everybody that's associated with the office. Thank you guys very much for making it happen. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is my enforcer here, Road Warrior Animal. Show some love. Now, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to give my man, Road Warrior Animal, the opportunity to let you know what law and order is going to be like from now on in SWE. There you go. Well, <laughs> you see, there's too many guys and girls in the wrestling business that want to get a name for themselves by making cheap shots. Cheat. You do whatever they can to get ahead to make a name for themselves. You only get a name for themselves by kicking people's butts and kick your teeth in. That's how you get a name for yourself. Yeah. Now you step out of line, you're looking at the guy that's gonna put you right back in line. Woo. The buck stops here. This is the new sheriff and what he says go. And I can take that all the way to the bank. Yeah. All right. So once again, SWE, everybody, thank you very much. And we're going to make it happen for you, players. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> I love it. Our new general manager, Jenny Long, joined by the enforcer, Animal. What a great addition. What a great decision by the office here at SWE Fury, Linden. Backstage now with Nigel Rabbit of the Rabbit Empire and, and Michael Schaefer here. I, I think this is the first time we've had a chance to talk to him. Do I talk to him or you? Well, who do you think you talk to, Bob Malden? Because you are not half the man you need to be to be able to polish the boots on the Paragon, Michael Schaefer. Michael Schaefer is going to square off 
against the man from Mad World. <laughs> well, I don't care about how unpredictable Malico happens to be because the one thing in your arsenal you pride the most, the one beat all move you have, you can't even apply to the Paragon. So, magnificent Malico, what are you going to do when the Paragon drives you mad? So obviously you expected a match with me. Kind of hurt my hip the other day. What? In hurt her hip? I know. And so, you know, I'm just not really in good shape to wrestle you right now. Obviously I'm not in gear. So, with that being said, being the professional that I am, sweetheart, I did find a replacement, so you're still gonna have a match tonight, and the whole time, I'll be right here watching. Wait a minute. My replacement is Jasmine Allure. Oh. Jasmine Allure is here? That's, uh, wow. Machiko is saying that she was injured last week and unable now to compete against Miranda Gordy who I'm sure has it in for Machiko-san. She's coming and sitting down over here near us now. Keep your eye out, Lynn Denton. She's right here by us, and she brought her own chair. You know, you know the thing is, the girl Gordy, this little girl trying to come up, trying to make a name for herself, and everybody's trying to shoot her down, but she's hanging in, you know what I mean? I know she's exactly what you mean. For that. And, um, why the ref's letting the girl sit out here in the chair who wanted to hit her with the chair last week? I don't understand. Get her! Miranda's gonna crush you! There you go, Miranda! Miranda Gordy, the bad street beauty, was uh, working her way back into the ring last week. And it was hit in the back with a chair by Otto Joseph. I'll tell you something, though, man. She keeps on trucking, though, right? She keeps coming at him. She don't slow down. She That's reminds right. her of her dad. Miranda Gordy, yeah. the daughter of Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Second generation star. The Bad Street Beauty, they like to call her. And I can hear Terry right now going, little girl, what do you think you're doing? Get out of that ring, hell. That's what I do for this. I love you, Dad, but he's a tough, tough guy. Terry Bam Bam Gordy, great guy. I miss him a lot. And right now we're seeing Miranda Gordy on top here with a headlock, side headlock on Jasmine Allure, who turns it around now and has the leg scissors there and backing her opponent out to the middle of the ring and slapping her right in the face. Gordy kicking out. Back to that headlock. A little bit of hair there. Referee says, watch it. Off the ropes. Shoulder tackle. As Machiko San looks on here at ringside, clapping for Jasmine Allure. Not sure what she's, why she's staying out here. Sunset flipping down. One, two. Only two. Well, she's, she's saying that she hurt her hip last week. Um, uh, she was running around the ring, in and out pretty well. I don't know how she hurt her hip or how bad. She's enjoying this match as she sees, uh, starts to see at least Jasmine Allure take control. Off the ropes, another drop kick, using those kicks, those double kicks too. As we look on, there is Machiko San in her own seat she brought in here. Plopped it down right in front of a fan and uh, is enjoying the match herself as Jasmine now goes to, works on the leg of Miranda Gordy. Oh, wrenching on that ankle now with an ankle lock there. She twists and turns. Machigo son calling break the leg Jasmine. In 
into the corner. She misses no one home. Jasmine Allure moves. Wrestling action tonight brought to you by Texas Association of Shokotan Karate Plano. Thank you so much to those guys for helping bring you great wrestling action right here on TV each and every week. SWE Fury seen all over the country. Home base is CW33 in Dallas, Texas. Back elbow now as Miranda Gordy fires up on Jasmine Allure. Hours whip into the corner. Followed into the corner with a big splash. Out again, short arm clothesline. Yeah! That Miranda Gordy means business, Lyndon. Start up now, brother. She's getting cooking. She is cooking and smoking, boss. And here we get a shot, right as you mentioned, smoking of Machiko's son at the side of the ring. Loving the chance, wait a minute, there, what is she doing now? She's up on the ring apron, and distracting the referee when there's an obvious chance for a three count. Four, five, 10, doesn't matter. The referee is distracted by Machiko son who is trying to get her to get off the ring apron and sit down. Gordy back behind the referee now, he's counting. Wait a minute. Of you getting in my way. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm oh, yeah. oh, oh, Whoa, Jasmine Allure. <laughs> Miranda Gordy move. One, two, three. Oh, that backfired on Wow. And the winner is bound to be a pinfall. I would say so, Linda. Miranda Gordy. The distraction, the attempt. By Machiko's son to cause Miranda Gordy to lose this match. Backfired badly. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for the legend, the grappler, and Grappler's Garage, presented by the Cambria Hotel in Plano, Texas. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Grappler's Garage, where we diagnose the problems and we fix the problems. You know, they call me the grappler. I wrestled over 40 years. Wrestled talent all over the world. And I see guys like you, up and coming talent, Mr. Ar Mr. All Day. And I'll tell you one thing: you you got it in your you got it in your genes, boss. You got what it takes to be a star in professional wrestling. I see you out there wrestling, and it makes me proud. Tell them about yourself, kid. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And if you didn't just hear, my name is Will All Day, and I'm looking for gold. I'm on the hunt for gold, and I hear SWE is the place to be. See, there's this saying. There's this saying: at the top of the mountain, there's only one spot. And here at SWE, you bet your ass I'm planting my flag at the top and my flag is going to read all damn day. You heard it yourself from a man will all day, folks. Watch him out there, folks. See you on Grandpa's Garage next week. Well then, didn't we are uh, privileged, I guess you would say, to be joined here at the commentary table by Nigel Rabbit. What do you mean, I guess you would say? You are privileged to have me sitting rings on a, a commentator of international capacity. I didn't know you were coming out here. I just looked up and you had a microphone. In well, the ring. obviously they wanted someone who knew what they were doing. Thank God Mr. Denton and I are here. Okay, in the ring we have Jerome Daniel Grippy, of course. Up against Thomas Carter here, great guy. Looks like he's got some potential. Let's see how he does tonight against a former MMA star and of course a, a former college quarterback himself, oh. Mr. Jerome Daniel Grippy. Now, Grippy might be right here, man, because he said it's over before it started. The guy should go ahead and just raise his hand, but you never know. You gonna debut on my show and disrespect me? Huh? Yeah, yeah the, uh, ooh. And I think probably the, the greatest thing about Jerome Griffey is just, I mean, he is such an accomplished combatant. Doesn't matter what he's doing, he is lethal at all moments. And look at poor Dill Dempsey just, just being manhandled. I've been on break from Corona, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, vicious. <laughs> Slamming the head of Dempsey into that turnbuckle. Jerome Daniels not appreciative of wise Alec fans. Oh, 
<laughs> well, we do have a few of those here tonight. It's good to be back here, though, and able to have some fans in the building, even though we are trying to be very careful about that. Bill, look at there. Dempsey coming back with a clothesline back elbow. Dempsey doesn't realize how lucky he is being right now. Oh! Oh, what a move there. You see that? Pinfall two one. and oh. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep on, Jerome Griffey down. I mean, this is a man whose moniker was once upon a time flawless. He stopped calling himself flawless because there was really no point to it. His name was synonymous with practical perfection. I think he's bit off a little more than he, he thought he had to chew on this guy here, though. Ooh. Well, Dempsey's showing a lot of promise <laughs> until that right there, which now has him the adage is every once in a while a blind squirrel finds the acorn well there's no blinder squirrel right now than poor dill dempsey that's right flowers can be sent care of this studio <laughs> that's right since we didn't know you were going to be out here sir but i had a question for you if i might um i'm watching a, a, a video on youtube and see a guy with a kendo stick and they use it to hit people for some reason you use it to choke people are you a master look at this look at this speaking up that is a, that is a submission <laughs> what did i tell you what did i tell you this belt via submission to rome to interrupt you there, Lynn Denton, but I saw that one coming. He had him out. That was totally awesome right there. And, and let's be honest, that's exactly what everyone has to expect from Jerome Daniel Griffey because he is lethality personified. The bell rings on two familiar faces in SWE Fury, Jackson Stone versus Chandler Hopkins. Here in the ring as they lock up in Linden, we are joined by our SWE Fury champion, Mr. Tim Storm. Hello, sir. Sure, our heavyweight champion. Good to see you, buddy. Man, it's always good to be here. <laughs> there, what we have today is a pleasure to see these these young upcoming and 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 they're past the point of upcoming these guys are established stars they i mean for example chandler has been in triple a he's been in mml i know that i know that jackson has been all over the united states has has done the, tour, the tent tours of germany you're talking about two young guys with a ton of experience both competitors both athletes this is going to be good yeah you know you know tim i used to go i know where these guys were at you do too you've been there so many times and people see you and they go you know i used to go to work as a pro wrestler you get hit with a chair get slammed on the floor they had suplex all the top i was just that was a normal thing to do it's like to work right that's the way these guys are absolutely if you had to me right now it'd kill me yeah no i it's i tell you, you know it's I mean? you know the deal and you you've been at it a long time yes sir. you are your body, it takes a wear and tear on your bodies. These guys are, are not at that point. They're, they're giving every match, they are laying it out there, and they have no regard for their own physical, physical bodies right now. I know. And I say, I, say that, I say that with respect. Sorry, me too. Well, Tim Storm, as we look at the uh, competitors in the ring here, obviously the goal, where every one of these guys wants to be is at some point challenging you for that title right there. Where do you see these guys in just a few years? Well, here's, here's the, the very... Wow, that's athletic. This is the very special thing about SW Fury. Every single guy on the roster, there has some level of talent. Man, these guys are flying around wow. the ring. Got a two there. Unbelievable, isn't it? I, I, it, him, I, him, oh, I said I wrestled 32 years, years full time, and I didn't do that many moves in my whole career in that one match. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, and, and that's the amazing thing. It's I mean, these guys are great athletes. They're great competitors, and you combine that with the experience they've got. It, you're talking about both guys, total package. Um, you know, both of these guys are contenders, and there's no way of, there's no way around that. You have a you have with Jackson, you have a really interesting combination of size and speed. With Chandler, you've got oh. oh good, great. I mean, the fans of SWE Fury, they get a bus and see something like this. Absolutely. These kind of athletes. And and as, all over in Independence, I've been all over the Independence. I'm telling you, I'm not saying this. Some of the greatest independent talent in the country is right here. Right uh, there, there's no doubt, and it's and the thing is, it it doesn't matter where they're at, it doesn't matter what organization they wrestle at, they're going to be top tier talent. Yes. Yeah, that's where we're at. And, yep. and as far as being being challengers, they're already challengers for yes. for this title. I take every wow. Jackson Stone is making it making a mark right now. Yeah. I think at this point, I think what we're seeing is his size 
This is, oh, now we see the quickness and the athletic ability coming back. Everybody's friend Jackson Stone just took a big flying drop kick there. I don't know if you noticed a little earlier that back elbow once uh, Chandler Hopkins bounced off the rope re resulted in a little busted lip there. Seems to be doing just fine right now as he goes in back. Stone catching him. Well, we've got a submission here. Let's see if we can lock him in. Five minutes. Five oh, minutes look at that power. Looked like he was going for a suplex. Keep up if you can, folks. That big kick to the face there since Chandler Hopkins reeling and down to the mat. Will Jackson Stone take advantage of, nope, there he goes up again. Oh! That was awesome. Lynn, Lynn, we're seeing something. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in getting your take on this. Because I think what we're seeing right now is it's a classic matchup of what's turned out to be a, a big a power guy yes. over a quickness yeah. and an athlete. Yes, in is. your experience, who's going to usually win those battles? Usually, I tell you the truth, in my experience, it's the quick guy. The quick guy. Because what happens is the big guy gets relaxed, relaxed on what he's doing. He gets the guy hurt a little bit, he thinks it's over, and the guy comes out of the pulls something out of the head, gets a quick win. I've seen it many times. I love the chant. I don't know if you heard it. The fans chanting, we love wrestling. They've been without it way too long, and we're back. We're in a limited capacity here with these uh, studio shows to bring in as many fans as possible while still keeping the fans and the wrestlers safe. You know, it's 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 interesting to me. You know, Lynn, what, Lynn you said that the, in a lot of cases the big man will make a mistake and get tired. And honestly, I didn't think that ja I thought Jackson had the experience to overcome that. But I think you're seeing right now, you're seeing Jackson show a little temper. You, you know, maybe maybe Chandler Hopkins has gotten to him a little bit. Yeah. Um, and that's when mistakes happen. That'll be a mistake if he does that. Oh, oh. that's beautiful. That. High risk here. Chandler's going up top. Here he goes, up to the top. Chandler Hopkins, Jackson Stone. Jackson tries to move. No, oh. big splash from the top. I think Jackson had. I think Jackson thought he had rolled out of range on that. I, I think he thought he. He, he hesitated before he went right. Well, and, and and I think Chandler showed right there. There is no limit to the range. He went. He went across the ring. The look on Jackson Stone's face says, "Who knew Chandler Hopkins could fly?" Because they forgot to tell him. And we telegraph this right here. So here's what gets you in trouble. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. Down. He saw it coming. Hopkins back up. Jackson Stone gets him, oh. him over there, and he's down only for a moment from that top rope. Jackson Stone going after a big oh, spear. Oh, beautiful spear there. That could be it right there. No. Oh. That's it. Oh, I'm like you. I thought that was it. He was so close with that spear. That's, that's a high-impact maneuver right there. He brought everything with that. Chandler Hopkins reaching. I guess he thought the ropes were right there above him. He tries to get up now. Jackson Stone not happy with the fact that Hopkins is still in this thing. See, Jim, here's where the gas. The young guy usually has a little left in the tank. Right. He's got to be careful right here, you know? Up right, here we go. This could be it right here. here. Go. Nope. Going up. Forearm shot. Now, look, like Jackson Stone was going for a power bomb type maneuver. They're... Chops now. Good grief. They are bringing they are bringing the hammers right here. Ah. Oh, good grief. Spinning kick. Chandler Hopkins. One minute. One minute left in this contest. Still in it. Chandler Hopkins rolling over to the side now to the rope. These guys Danny. have given everything they've got, and I don't. I, I'm, I'm sure this is announced. I think this is a 10-minute time. And this, this may. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting here at the end. We're going to see. We're going to see who's got the most. We're going to see who's got gas left in the tank here. True, it's true. You know, hey, man. If you think about it, if you think about it, Tim. You think 30 about Tim, seconds. 30 seconds left. Everybody's been in a fist fight. You throw three or four punches, you're out of breath. That's it. Imagine going this long. Yeah. We're imagine, down to Imagine going this long. Lynn, I don't know if you heard that. 30 seconds, and that was about five seconds ago. These guys are still in it. Are we going to have a winner, or are we going to go No, I say the there, there's going to be a winner here. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, power six. bomb. Big power bomb. Can he make the cover here? got to make the cover. Can he make the cover here? Two, one. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this time match has draw. ended in a time limit draw. A time limit draw, guys. When's the last time you've seen one of those? These guys going all the way for that 10 minute time limit. I'll tell you one thing, you gotta take your hat off these two guys. Hey, that, these guys are in fantastic shape. Absolutely. They get it all out there. Well, and, and I mean, look at them there. The, the recovery on this, they just. They were both in car wrecks there. Right? Oh, hey, Jay, the body, right, the body right. to recover from this. Believe me, they'll feel this for a couple of days. Well, and 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 they're both disappointed in, in in the fact that they didn't win. You can tell that. Look at the look on their face. They went out there and they went all they went all the way. I don't want to say to the wall, but they went all the way to the wall and to walk out knowing that you didn't win. You yeah, know, it, that's that's disappointing for both guys. But they have to be proud of the effort they put in. Oh, you gotta be. You gotta be. Coming up next, our byline surveying main event right here on SWE Fury. Magnificent Malico. Malico. Hey, uh, let's let's talk to the fans here. Uh, Magnificent Malico, tonight you're 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 facing Michael Schaefer in the ring. Have you seen that guy? Oh yeah, I, I've actually beaten him. Before. Really? Yes, okay. Well, yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Uh, well, your thoughts on the match tonight? My, my thoughts on the match. Yeah, yeah. I, I do have a couple of those. Okay, good. Can you um, share? Yes. Uh, so, I defeated Michael Schaefer, right? I, yes. I won. The, the ref raised my hand. And, yes. And, and he's still talking trash. Well, he's he still can. talking trash. And, and you know what it is? I think him and Mr. Rabbit think they're going to get in my head. <laughs> but, but you can't get in my head. It's a scary place to be. Well, that's what they say. But, but they keep saying that I can't use my beloved jackhammer on him. And, and Tim Storm, my mentor, told me to always use a finishing move that you can do to everybody. So I damn sure can hit Michael Schaefer with that jackhammer! <laughs> and, and he thinks he's going to get in my head by saying I can't do it? Do you think he's gotten in my head? Because I don't think he's gotten in my head. Maybe just a little. Here, here check out the plan again. Damn it, Schaefer! Main event action presented by Byline Serving here at SWE Fury. Magnificent Malico, the interesting character who uh, is out here saying he can now jackhammer the gigantic Michael Schaefer. Join here with James Beard out here at the commentary booth right now. James, you go all over the world looking for great talent to bring to SWE Fury. Where in the hell did you find this guy? And Mad World, obviously, don't you know that? The Mad, Mad yeah, World. Yeah, the Mad World, yeah. Hey, Lenny, Lenny, tell me something. What would the grappler do if he got in the ring with something like that? Buddy, well, he was just acting right there while I got talking about the jackhammer. I would crawl out and throw my partner in. <laughs> Quickly. Good idea. Michael Schaefer, a member of the Rabbit Empire, very large, very dominating force here in SWE so far. Disposing of Magnificent Malico like yesterday's garbage there. That's a big boy right there. Now. I was going to say, that's what you call a big one. Yes, sir. At some point, I wonder about Nigel Rabbit's ability to control some of these behemoths that he brings in. Members of the Rabbit Empire like Super Destroyer X. And now we see Michael Schaefer in the ring here. Yeah, he's got some big guys. Yes. Reminds me of another manager I used to know, Mr. Atmar. Mr. Ak yeah, he would bring in some big guys. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Michael Schaefer with an uppercut there sends Malico reeling into that middle rope. I tell you, James, it was a, it was an honor. Whenever Agbar was my manager, I, I he, he, I, he managed me in the, as a ground force, as the dirty white boys. He managed me as a single. It's fantastic. One of the best. Having, having somebody like that on your side makes a big difference. Oh man, it? unit man. If you'll remember, Lyndon, y'all's reputation wasn't all that great back then, though. What was that? Your reputation wasn't all that great back then, especially when you were part of Akbar's stable, Devastation Incorporated. I was a nice fella. People took me the wrong way. I, I don't know about all that. I know you're a nice fella now, but everybody can reform, I suppose. Nigel, hey, Nigel, hey, will you explain why you got a kendo stick? And he's, he starts talking about something else. 
That's what I'm going to tell you. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about something. Yeah, that's okay. Let's talk about that move right there as we get a pin of only two. Magnificent Malico off that top rope and splashing, and Michael Schaefer was down and almost got a pin there. Tell you what, you only get halfway to the uh, halfway to the mat when you jump on top of Michael Schaefer. Man, that's a big boy. <laughs> Bumbles bounce. <laughs> no kidding. You know, he looks a lot like uh, the first time I saw One Man Gang. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really does. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sim similar style also. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. One thing you will notice about Michael Schaefer, though, is he does not let that size and that weight deter him from some really big moves. Yeah, he's very athletic, that's true. Malico doing a little uh, dance on the middle rope there for the camera. He tries to go back and catch Schaefer with that boot, but Schaefer drags him off. What's he going to do here? Oh, good grief. Ooh, that takes yeah, a straight. Hey, hey. That'll slow you down in a hurry right there. You know, as a referee, I, I always try to keep, keep you guys from doing that kind of thing, but I understand why you did it. Taking that wind away. Oh, yeah, yeah. It makes the match go a heck of a lot quicker, you know, and <laughs> believe me, I know. You caught me doing a lot of a lot of things I shouldn't have done. I <laughs> That's why you're one of the greatest referees ever in pro wrestling, and you still are, you know. I had to have had to have eyes in the back of my head with guys like you. But you know, like night after night, you try to make them as short as you can. You know? That's that's it. I understand. <laughs> I, the older I get, the more I understand. <laughs> Well, that was different. Yeah, yeah you're right. It does remind me of one man game. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. He yeah, I know he was. To say yeah. I, I get a, I get a lot of comments around here from big guys. Something different. You never know what going to do. <laughs> That's one move you've never seen me do. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't think I don't think you ever want to leave your feet. <laughs> I tried like that a few times up in Kentucky after taking a shot of that moonshine. Tripped I over the really bottom rope, didn't get in the ring. I see that sometimes. No kidding. Oh my goodness! Oh, is he going to go for it? He was trying to. No way! Oh, Shaver with the yeah, rake to the eyes there. Oh, and a big back elbow sends. Malenko bouncing nearly out of the ring. One, two. That was some way to hit Malenko right there. Did you see that? Oh, my goodness. Took him right off his feet. It's like being hit by a runaway train. Schaefer calming himself down, getting back up now. Malenko with a big old boot. That 400-plus pound Schaefer to his throat. And here we go with Rabbit again. Oh there he goes. Nigel Rabbit again. A factor. Now the referee spotted him this time. Five minutes. Five minutes have passed. He's grabbing my property. He's grabbing my property. Hmm. Oh my Not goodness. sure that all went down the way Nigel wants to portray it. Oh, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Schaefer now. Nigel has a problem with the truth, I think. Yeah, he's toying with her. Well, Malico, he's firing back up. There he goes. Goes for a clothesline. That didn't topple the big guy. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. He get out of that. So he kicked close. out of that. I'll never know. <laughs> He's taking a lot that hurt of me punishment. From here. Oh, it's a punishment out there. Pull out the stones. Destroy. We need a stain of grease paint right there in the middle of the ring. 
Nigel Rabbit telling Schaefer they need a stain of grease paint right in the middle of the ring, and that grease paint would be the face of Magnificent Malico. Here we go. Going up. Oh, suplex coming. There goes the blood. In the air. Blood to the head there. Oh, this is not good news for Magnificent Malico. The blood rushing to his head now. One. Good grief. This is not good. Two. A little different here, isn't it, James? Never yeah, seen a, this. That takes a lot of strength to do this. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Oh, nope. We went for something. It didn't work out, though. Get him. Nope. Oh, Schaefer reversing it into a big suplex. One. It looked like Malico was going for a choke out there and he just couldn't get, it, couldn't get it done. Was it a choke out? Was it a submission? I couldn't tell. Well, it could have been. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was him just holding on for dear life, to tell you the truth, guys. Might have been. That's what I thought was happening there as the referee is counting now. It definitely looked like it hurt, didn't it? Yeah. It definitely looked like it hurt. All right. James Beard, you've been in this predicament uh, several times as you have two competitors on the mat. Well, you know, I, I just you, know, you got to count. And I, I try to try to encourage them to get up and go after it, you know, and work their way up. Our main event tonight brought to you by Byline Surveying. And we go Michael Shaver with a big old just splash in the corner. Oh. Do you have money on this? <laughs> <laughs> here on SWE Fury, all the great folks who help bring you wrestling action at its very best. Our main event here, of course, brought to you by Byline Surveying. Malico, back in the hunt, it seems it's a no, a big chuck slam there. Two, two, just I thought I thought Three quarters, I'm telling you. I don't know how Malico is taking all that. Man, I'm telling you, he's got to be a tough cookie. As a big heavy man, man, pounding on him. At what point, Lyndon, do you say, I've had enough? Usually in, in this situation like this, when the guys KO, <laughs> they go, okay, I didn't come to, to make the count. That's it. These guys are to, you, you ever definitely think, set please, on winning this match. You ever think, please make this count? Yes, please make this count, yes. I've done it a few times. <laughs> guys, I want to draw your attention to what's happening here. Michael oh. Schaefer. Up on the top, oh, no. going to the top rope. What is that? No! Oh, oh, Did we just get a power ball to the top two? And no! Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. I thought the ring was going to come down. I thought the ring was going to come down. That is, surely that had to break something. I can't believe it. I may, I, the top rope right in the middle of the I may want to check those tuba sixes in there. there. The tuba twelves, whatever they got under there. You're right. Signature move. Oh, oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh no! One, two, three! And, oh, good grief! Wow! I think he just beat himself. The winner of this bout via pinfall, the Paragon, Michael Schaefer. Got a little overconfidence there, you know, with that jackhammer business. That had to hurt. Malico tried to go for that jackhammer, but the weight of Michael Schaefer too much. He falls only to be pinned. As we see our winner of our main event, Michael Schaefer, part of the Rabbit Empire. Great matchup, though. Absolutely yeah. fantastic matchup. What you can expect right here at SWE Fury. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope to see you 
back here next week for more great wrestling action. For James Spears, Lynn Denton, I'm Bob Mulder, and we'll see you next time.